For this video, I decided to talk about a success story. I have done two videos about two inspiring success stories in my channel, one where I talked about Jack Ma, who at one point was the richest man in China, and the second one was about the founder of Hershey's. If you want to watch my previous success story videos, you will find the links in the description box down below. Whether you're a gamer or not, whether you spend most of your time on games or never played a video game in your life, I am sure you've heard of the game PUBG. PUBG became most popular in 2018 and from the beginning of 2019, everyone around me was playing this game. I have never played this game personally, but I was curious about who made it and where did it come from. It seems like this game just appeared out of nowhere and when I read the story behind PUBG, I realized I should make a video about it cause I found the story highly interesting and inspiring and I'm sure you will enjoy it as well. In this video, I will be telling you the story behind PUBG. Our story begins in Ireland, where the creator of PUBG, Brendan Green, is from. He was born in 1976, which means he is 44 years old now and was 41 years old at the time PUBG was first released in 2017. After graduating high school, like most people nowadays, he went to his local college and graduated with a degree in management. At the beginning, Brendan did everything and anything other than coding or designing video games. He initially started his career as a photographer and a DJ following his passions. Then in 2013, he shifted to coding and designing video games. The closest he got to working in the video game industry was in Brazil in Sao Paulo and where he met the woman he fell in love with and Brendan left everything behind including his life, family and friends in Ireland to move all the way to Brazil where he got married at the age of 35. Unfortunately, their marriage didn't last long and they got divorced after two years of marriage. No one knows the reason behind the divorce because Brandon doesn't talk about his personal life. However, in one of the articles I read, Brandon was talking about the time of the divorce and he was talking about how he was so broke he didn't have enough money for a plane ticket to go back to Ireland. And that was one of the most important moments in his life where he realized he had nothing and he needed to do something about it. He began making his own way into game development and taught himself everything he needs to know about the basics of creating a video game. He was then hired by a game development organization and he had created some games before creating PUBG. Games like Arma 2 was modded into Daisy and Delta Force Black Hawk Down but he soon left that organization as well. Months later, he had the idea of PUBG and flew all the way to South Korea to team up with a South Korean game developer called Blue Hall. And Blue Hall were very impressed with his ideas. The game was a digital version of The Hunger Games where 100 players parachute into a landscape from a plane and then have to search for weapons, tools, and even sometimes clothes. Basically, they have to search and collect anything they will need to go through the game. What's very interesting about the game is that at first, everywhere in the map is considered to be a playable area. As time goes on, the area shrinks and everyone outside it will lose. This forces players into an even smaller space, bringing them all into contact with one another. The remaining players 
fight until only one remains and the one person remaining is obviously the winner. In mid-2016, they started to build up the game and decided to release it in a year. Within a year, the game had sold 50 million copies worldwide over PC and Xbox One. And in September 2017, PUBG broke a world record that no other game has ever achieved. They had over 1 million people playing the game at the same time. And in a span of a year, Brendan finally achieved his goal and became rich with a net worth of $200 million. The number of people who played PUBG reached more than 500 million people and 20 million people play the game on a daily basis. The country that played PUBG the most in 2019 was China with a percentage of 33% followed by the one and only USA with a percentage of 11% and finally India with a percentage of 8% and the game by itself made more than 2 billion dollars so far if you are a PUBG lover you might find the thing I'm about to say to be shocking Brendan stated in an interview in 2018 that he doesn't play PUBG at all actually he doesn't spend a lot of time playing video games as much as he used to however regardless of the huge number I just mentioned they had some challenges and especially Brendan Brendan said that he started getting random death threats from some of the gamers because the game has been going through a lot of changes. Like any other game, PUBG went through multiple updates to make the game go more smooth. But some people didn't like the updates so much to the point that they started sending the founder of the game death threats. One of the things that fascinated me the most about this success story, not just the success, but the amount of money that PUBG puts into marketing and advertisement. As we all know, companies put a lot of money into marketing. For example, a company like Apple puts more than $1.8 billion every year into advertising and a company like Samsung spends 1.9 billion dollars into advertising. Now my question to you is how much do you think PUBG spent on advertising to get the huge numbers that they got? The shocking answer is zero. Yes, PUBG didn't spend a dime in advertisements. PUBG Corporation, which is known as Blue Hall, had a staff of 25 people and no enough budget to spend on marketing. So they decided to use the most traditional way of marketing, which is word of mouth, where they make sure few people play the game and trust that these people will tell everyone else about the new game PUBG. What they did is that they used Twitter and wrote a tweet to counter-strike gamers telling them to check out a new game called PUBG that is very similar to counter-strike and that's exactly what happened. The people who tried PUBG ended up liking it and soon enough people on platforms like Twitch and YouTube ended up making videos about it and the game became popular right away. Although PUBG gained huge popularity over the past couple of years, but the game faced some issues because of the amount of countries that banned the game. Countries like India, China, and Jordan. And if you remember, I have previously mentioned that China uses PUBG the most with a percentage of 33%, meaning PUBG lost 33% of their players and even more. That's all I have for today's video. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a like and maybe share it with a couple of your friends if you want to. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.